Hello everyone. Welcome to introduction to Java Spring Boot learning by coding. Uh, in this course, we will learn how to create uh, web application and uh, put it on the GitHub and then deploy on, on Heroku. So let's get started. In this video, we will go over um, the basics of Spring Boot, in which we learn about the topics for routing templates and using dependencies. The next video, we will go over the advanced techniques for passing and validating data using Java Beans. And the third one, we will go over some uh, uh, data tools, connect uh, the front end with the back end. And then uh, fourth video, we will go to security implementation um, through Spring Boot and uh, make a customized login page, user registration, um, and then the fifth one, we will do the design tools, um, do the bootstrap and custom error page. And in the sixth video, um, we will do a deployment on the Heroku website. So to start um, this uh, Spring Boot, we need to uh, have a get client. Um, I have just downloaded 2.28.0 and uh, we also require Heroku um, as for Mac and Windows, whatsoever the operating system you have, you can download and you also require the latest and greatest uh, Java SDK, I have just downloaded 14.0.2 and IntelliJ. IntelliJ uh, is uh, um, not free. So if you are students, you can use for one year. And if you are not, then uh, uh, you can work through the exercises which I will show you uh, by using 30 day demo version. Okay, let's get started. So, click the new project and uh, Spring Initializer, and then next. And here, call as demo, next, I would, definitely, I would like to select here Spring Boot Dev Tools. Make sure it is the latest one, Spring Boot. Uh, currently, I have 2.33. Then go to the web, Spring Web Template Engine Timely. Click Next. Um, here you can get the name, I say Spring Boot 100 and then click finish. When you will finish, you can see that uh, it takes some time and then We'll download the Maven library and in the source folder they are there is a main and two additional folder Java and resources. In the Java folder uh, we have a uh, additional folder uh, package com.example.demo. In this one, 
you need to make a one class. I call it the uh, home controller. Okay. So this is a class called home controller. After that, uh, this is your controller. So see that. controller make a method in this one like public string and I say get home page and uh, return Here, say plus mapping. Here, you are going to mention a path. All right, so this is your home controller. You have made a home controller, and uh, uh, to, to tell this to tell Java that this is a controller, you need a one controller and uh, at least one web page to run your application. So these annotations tell uh, Java that uh, this class serves as controller. The quest mapping is for uh, what function or what, what functionality needs to perform on a specific URL. So on a root direct, root one, it will return a page name as index. So we need to make a page name index.html. So we go to the templates, right click new HTML and say index.html. No need to mention it, just say index. All right, we'll make a page and then h2. Here you say the body hello world. Simple web page. And um, just save it. And after that, run it. Once you run this one, it will build. You can see that it's building, started, and then you go HTTP localhost, and it gives you hello world. This is your application. So now you can see that how this thing has happened. So or your Spring Boot. So once you create the application, you just make a controller. And in controller, you mention what page you need to display on a specific uh, URL. And, uh, and then you make a page, run your uh, application, and it shows the result. Um, now, what I would like to do here, um, I like to uh, uh, use a variable in the template. So how can I use a variable in the template? So I could do a model, M-O-D-E, model. Mod enter. Model is a class. What it does, it uh, used to add the variables into the model and transfer into your web page. 
we will make a variable name my war and type it over here say this is the variable value say hello to the people all right and it goes to the index page so here if you want to to get the variable what we need to do so this is your page and uh, you need time so xml ns namespace ph www dot time leaf dot org rest keep it like that and then you use a time leaf attribute text and in this one with the dollar sign you can get the variable my one. So this variable comes from the home controller. Whatsoever the variable value is passed through the page. And so I start the application and I'm going to run again. Okay, and uh, refresh. Say, say here, yeah, hello to the people. All right, next. So we have seen this one. Um, third thing I would like to mention that uh, a, using a property variable on a, on, on a template, how can you, you use a property variable? This uh, this is you you it's a a normal vari variable. So properties normally we define in the file name properties. So what we need to do here um, on the resource folder we make a file name as messages dot properties and in this one we mention a property static dot message the property value is hello world and now We need to display this property over here. So how do we display the property over here? Again, this one P and then th text text and here. So for the variable, we need a dollar sign. For a property, we need a hash sign. So st static dot message. So we need this one static dot message. So static dot message value is hello world. It will also display underneath it. So we run again and then we refresh the browser and it says a hello world. So, okay, all right. Um, next thing I would like to mention over here 
which is very important, is the dev tools. Dev tools, if you if I make any kind of a change over here, for instance, if I say says hello to people, and then I save this one, and then I refresh it, it doesn't reflect anything. So I have to stop and restart again. So to avoid stopping and restarting, what we need to do. So we need to go to the settings and then go to compiler. It is in build, execution, and deploy deployment compiler. In compiler, there's an option build project automatically. Check this one, apply, and hit OK. And after that, click Control Shift A. In Control Shift A, type here, registry. In registry, you need to check off this one compiler auto make allow when app running all right we check this one and close it after that you also need a live reload so i have downloaded a live reload 2.1.0 and, uh, and it is really good for uh, reloading or using dev tools. So make sure this one is on. Okay. Now what we do now, we restart our application. Nothing has changed and we refresh the browser. Now I enable it. Live load is connected. Okay. Now I change this one as to says and save the application. What will happen next? We will see that Spring Boot reloaded by itself, okay, and then the say change into sales. So now I am going to change to the to the word word. Say hello to the world. And I'm going to save this one. See that what will happen. It will restart again. And it has also changed. So with the dev tools, which we have uh, selected earlier, the main benefit is we no need to restart the application over and over. Okay, so now we would like to uh, save our application on a GitHub. Uh, we go to VCS, import into the version control, share project on the GitHub. It says remote description, it says share. You can make a repository and uh, if you would like to provide any comment, you can provide it over here, initial comment, add, and pushing to the GitHub master, and successfully shared on the GitHub, click on the GitHub, and you can find out over here, right? Okay. Now, this project has gone onto the GitHub. If you make any kind of a changes, like add a README file, and 
can write down here chapter number one and commit new file. So this readme file is over here on the GitHub. How you can pull on your IntelliJ. For that, go to the terminal. The command is get pull minus minus all. You do like this, so it will pull. Whatsoever the changes have made on the GitHub to your um, IntelliJ. And now it has come over here. Next, if I make any change here, and I would like to send it on the GitHub, how could I do this one? So get add minus minus all, and then get comment minus n initial comment and get push minus u origin master. So this has gone to the GitHub. Changes I have made. Yes, from the C, C, it has changed into the C's. All right. I hope you like this video. And please provide the comments.